Hero Motor Corp recorded retail sales of more than 14 lakh vehicles in the 32-day festive period from Navratri to Bhai Dooj. This is a 19% growth over the previous year. In October, the wholesale offtake for the company was 5 lakh 59,000 units. The company's shares hit a 33-month high of Rs 3,551 on the back of a strong festive season and expectations of growth going forward. But how will the company really step up its premium play, its EV strategy and exports? All three areas are critical for the the company to continue maintaining its market share. Joining us right now to talk about this all is Niranjan Gupta, CEO of Hero Motor Corp. Niranjan, thank you very much for uh, joining us. Give us a sense of uh, the factors playing in favor of Hero Motor Corp right now and what kind of growth momentum do you see going forward? Hi, Parikshit. Uh, yes, it's been a record uh, festive sales. Uh, the factor that, that's working for us is one, the portfolio that we keep revamping. For instance, we launched the Passion Classic back uh, we've premiumized our 110cc, 125cc through XTEC uh, variants that we have done. So the focus is on growing the core, which has really worked well. Uh, and of course, on the premium, as you know, that our launch of Harley HDX 440 was quite successful uh, with bookings. We have four to five months order book on that, equally on Charisma as well. We're also doing a lot of revamp on the stores. Uh, where 2.0 stores have now reached 200. We've almost converted like one store a day over the last six months, and these stores look absolutely fabulous. We've launched our premium stores. So it's like action on all fronts, if you ask me, uh, which is what is working for, uh, for the company now. As we said, we are changing gears, and, and clearly the first six, seven months of this journey has shown uh, the speed and the scale of the ramp up on various fronts that we're doing. Right. In terms of uh, having premium stores, where does uh, the number stand currently and how much do you want to take it by the end of this fiscal? We've opened with three stores, uh, Parikshit, and uh, we're going to take it up to 100 stores by June end. So that will these stores uh, will be selling the premium uh, models, plus they'll also act as, as visibility and marketing devices because they will be the flagship stores uh, for the premium. Right. Uh, I would also like to ask you about uh, the premiumization strategy. You have time and again stressed that this is extremely important. But has the premium journey so far been satisfactory for Hero Motor Corp? If we look at sales of uh, the Harley Davidson X440, it was about 2,495 units uh, last month. Uh, the Charisma sales were around uh, 300 units roughly. Uh, is this something that uh, you are concerned about? How is the company going to step up uh, the premium play here onwards? No, not at all concerned because we shouldn't go by the sale number. We should go by the order book that we have. And like we said, we were a 25,000 order book on HDX 440. So it's only a matter of supply, uh, which is there. So sales actually become just a function of supply. And we are ramping up supplies as, as I spoke about. Similarly, Charisma, we've got more than uh, 10,000 bookings that we have. And again, so order book is very strong. We are ramping up the supplies, the sales have just started. So we have no concerns. In fact, we're very delighted that we're running with a four to five months order book. And as we then will be launching, as we talked about the 440cc platform, on that platform, a hero badged uh, product as well in March quarter. So. All together, we are going to have a very strong portfolio of premium products as we move forward, Parikshit. Right. Uh, but what is the supply issue? Right now, you are saying that uh, the order book remains strong. Sales is not a good example or a good indicator where things stand for your premium motorcycle sales. Uh, is there any kind of supply constraint that you're facing right now? No, no, no. Parikshit Parik is not a supply issue. It's a supply ramping up. Mm from month one to two to three to four, mm. whenever you start any new model, there's a ramp up time which is there. And over the next three to four months, our supplies will get ramped up between the two models, close to around 10,000 per month that we'll reach as a capacity. So this is only a question of just a phase-wise ramp up that happens. Right, so why when do you think you can reach a 10,000 per month capacity for uh, your premium motorcycles put together? I think these platforms put together, which is the 2440cc platforms and, and the charisma of the world, I think by March we should easily be reaching 10,000 plus per month capacity. Right. Uh, in terms of uh, VIDA sales, you have been increasing numbers, but currently uh, in the market, if we look at the order, starting from Ola, TVS, 
uh, Aether, Bajaj. Currently, Hero Motor Corp is number six in the order. Uh, in terms of ramp up, grabbing market share, what will be the strategy going forward? On Vida, what we are doing on EV is that we are putting all the infrastructure in place, Parikshit. For instance, that in terms of number of charging stations, we talked about uh, that we are collaborating with Aether to have uh, far more number of charging stations. Uh, second thing uh, which we are doing is to increase the number of dealers. We are already on 100 plus dealers which have been activated. Number of cities which we have said 100 by December, which also we will achieve. So all the infrastructure part is getting ramped up. And, and and the production already has started. We have started producing around 1,000 per week already. So all this is a matter of now ramping up. And over the next couple of quarters, you will see our EV also getting ramped up. And thereafter, uh, we are going to focus on uh, putting out products in the mid and affordable segment over the next four to six quarters. So really speaking, you will see the scale up happening over the next four to six quarters on the on the EV side, both from product portfolio expansion perspective uh, equally the expansion to the number of cities and dealers and therefore the volumes will follow. Right. Uh, about Aether, Aether continues to have a strong out of order book and it's growing its sales numbers and market share consistently. Uh, yeah. Will that be a big part of Hero Motor Corp's EV strategy? Will uh, the EV onslaught, so, for, uh, so to say, will it be led by Aether Energy? It's both. So we have investment in Aether. We hold around, I think, 37.5% as of now. Uh, Aether is doing very well. The brands are doing very well. Uh, we have Vida also, which has got launched from HMCL in-house. I just talked about the whole strategy. So it's going to be both, which is we have investment in Aether. So it's like owning 100% of a brand and 37% of another brand, So which is always a good place to be. Let me also ask you about the competition from... Uh Honda motorcycles and scooter. Uh, for example, in October, you had 5.59 lakh units in uh, wholesales. HMSI was 4,62,000. There have been some reports which say that HMSI could overtake uh, Hero Motor Corp in terms of market share, in terms of sales in future. How do you see these reports and what would be the pillars in terms of continuing to maintain your leadership position in the market? So I wouldn't comment on any any competition, any player, Parikshit, because that's our policy. Uh, all I can talk about is that there are various uh, actions and pillars that we are focusing on for improving market share. At the core, at the entry level, our, our role is to expand the market, mm -hmm. and which is what the HF Deluxe, which is doing, and that's what we have shown in the festive as well. As we move up in 125cc, uh, what we are trying to do is to recover the lost market share and which is where we launched the Glamour x -Tech, we launched the Super Splendor x -Tech, and you will see the new 125cc also coming up uh, soon. Mm. So that's the addressing 125cc. On the premium, where we didn't have a full portfolio, you've seen the spate of launches that we have done, and more launches will follow. Mm. So all of those, combined with the revamp of the front end that we are doing uh, on the store side, uh, we are confident that these are the, our market share drivers going to be in the future on the ice side. Thank you very much, Niranjan, for joining us for that comprehensive update. It's a pleasure speaking to you, uh, Parikshit, as always. All right, we completely run out of time on this broadcast. Thank you for watching and goodbye.